Hi guys, in this video I would like to share insights from a deep dive that I did on the breakout setup. To make the deep dive, I used information shared by Christian Kulamagi on his YouTube channel and Twitch. That's why I also called the presentation breakout setup Kulamagi style. Christian has a very well-defined trading strategy. He shares a lot of insights on how to identify the setup, how to trade the setup, and I used as many of his points at the base of my deep dive and during the deep dive I tried to confirm as many things for myself in order to better learn this breakout setup. What you'll see later in this presentation is a summary of what I could find and what I learned while doing the deep dive. There were a set of open questions that I set for myself and here are the main ones. Of course, I wanted to know how many breakouts happened per month. Um, how many breakouts happened in 2022, considering it was a bearish market? Was there a relationship between the breakouts and SPY and how uh, they are positioned when I map them on the SPY? Very good insights later. Like uh, Christian also mentions the pattern that the breakouts create uh, during the setup, and I wanted to uh, learn to kind of draw them and find them for myself, but also count them to see how many I could usually find. So more insights on that too. And then finally, what I try to also do is for each of the breakouts, I came up with some kind of measurements of the setup um, and try to do um, like collect the data for all the setups, uh, all the breakouts that I identified in order to end up with some kind of statistical database uh, which when analyzed will try to give me a description of the breakout setup based on data. So this also comes later in this presentation so stay tuned and focused and you need quite some endurance to go through those slides because there are a lot of charts there. So. Um, yeah, this is what you could expect in terms of topics. As I told you, to me, there are very good quality insights ahead. Um, overall, here is the breakout setup description as described by Christian on his blog. I assume that you have an understanding on the breakout setup already. That's why I will not go into the details. If you want to learn more, please pause the video and see and read the text. Please have in mind also that there is a survivorship bias to kind of this deep dive, um, meaning that uh, all the data that you'll see later in the presentation does not include any setups that had a similar pattern to a breakout, but in the end failed to break up, break out. <coughs> so it has a kind of surv uh, like survivorship bias and a selection bias towards it uh, that you have to have in mind. There is nothing about the number of setups that failed. Um, in terms of the studied universe for the deep dive, what, um, how I created the universe is I selected stocks about $3. Uh, there was no biotech stock included and no ETF either. And in terms of timeline, uh, the um, historical data that I look into was January 2017 till December 10th, 2022. So overall six years of data. And the tool that I used for this was TC2000 and they actually store per stock six years of historical data. I ended up having 2,578 stocks in the studied universe, which I then split it into two main groups based on market cap. So first group one uh, higher than 1 billion lower than like uh, above 1 billion and below 10 billion stocks 1830 stocks and above 10 billion 748 stocks and then here is how many breakout breakouts i could manage to find so a total of 963 breakouts a very nice number a lot of work to find them all but and then very nice to see so many breakouts happening in the last six years. And then when I grouped them per uh, market cap, there were 
837 breakouts below 10 billion and 126 breakouts above 10 billion. Um, the number of breakouts and how often they happen was one of the first insights I was learning while doing the deep dive. As soon as I finished doing the deep dive in the group below 10 billion and I switched to above 10 billion, I started to see kind of right away something kind of unexpected in the sense that I was not finding so many breakouts in the process. So I was like, uh, surprised that I was looking through a lot of data and a lot of stocks and I couldn't find many. So I tried to do some calculation to explain this in a way. So if we take below 10 billion, there were 837 breakouts <coughs> and in a total of 1,830 stocks, which give 0 0.46 breakout per stock which actually means that it takes kind of two stocks to review to get one breakout and knowing that one stock is six years of data when i do the math it kind of it takes 13 years of data to find one breakout in the group below 10 billion if i do the same calculation above 10 billion the number is way lower so 0 0.17 per stock which means it takes 35 years of data to find a breakout so you literally have to walk through a lot of data to find one breakout so that was something kind of i was experienced and i was surprised of it and then i kind of reminded christian also mentions that above 10 billion and like bigger companies have way less breakouts and now i kind of have this data to back it up so indeed this is happening then yeah, 63% less breakouts above 10 billion. In terms of sectors and industry, this, this is the list of breakouts per sector and industry. I'll not go into details. I advise you to pause and look at the data and make your um, conclusions, but this is what I got. Then, uh, yeah, the first question was kind of what's the average number of breakouts per month in the last six years? <coughs> in the end, what I ended up doing was trying to split this timeline, uh, knowing that 2022 is kind of a bearish market. I tried to see how many happened before 22 and in 2022. And this is what the, um, the numbers were. 13.88 breakouts per month between January 2017 to December 2021. I was very happy to see these numbers. It's actually proving that the breakouts happen often per month and it's worth looking for them and they are identifiable. So overall, very promising number and very promising to learn this breakout setup in general. Then I looked into how many breakouts actually happened in 2022. And this is the first number I came up with 10.7 breakouts per month in a bearish environment. However, when looking closely to the data, I saw a lot of stock in oil, gas, coal also having those breakouts. And considering 2022 had this uh, energy context to it, geopolitical environment influencing the energy sector, I decided kind of to take them out. So if this is what I had as a number, 7.6 breakouts per month, a much lower number of breakouts in a bearish environment, which is also making sense. Uh, so compared to 13.88 in the years before. Um, I then took all the breakouts that happened in 2022 and placed them on the SPY chart. So what you will see is in with the blue uh, arrow is a breakout in kind of all different sectors and industries. And actually in orange, I still try to uh, isolate sort of oil, gas and coal. And the data, I was very surprised on how the data aligned and I had a lot of learnings 
from this picture itself and I was very happy to do this exercise. So I'll let you pause and look through the video itself and make your own conclusions. I'll go ahead. So just sharing one of the insights kind of I took for myself. Breakouts happen in clusters. It's definitely in 2022 based on the data that I had so far is these three significant clusters of breakouts with not so many happening in between or later in the year when the bearish environment was m even more present. So um, yeah, that's kind of something I was not super happy to see so many like such a clustered form. I was more happy with the average per month. The clusters in a sense mean that um, there will there needs to be higher risk exposure in some short periods of time um, as more breakouts in a sector or in general on the market happen in the same time. In addition, we can also see a kind of sector momentum breakout, which kind of has the same kind of rule as kind of clustering in a specific short period of time. Um, what I'll do next uh, is an analysis for the full, uh, like um, for the rest of the year, so 2017 to 2022. So I map all the periods, so I see what extra knowledge I can gather from map doing those uh, breakouts. So it's coming soon. That's why I advise you to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss that video. If you like the information so far, I advise you to like the video um, as it supports the channel a lot. So a couple of short conclusions so far after the breakout was that uh, the breakout setup seems legit, it happens, and uh, this was a key insight during the deep dive uh, of the setup. Uh, what was also expected is to see a correlation uh, with the bullish environments and more breakouts in the bullish environments than in the uh, bearish environment. Um, and in addition to this, uh, breakouts come in clusters with a significant correlation with the overall market and uh, clusters within the sector. Here are a couple of insights and more to follow. So let's go through the extra topics I looked into. So another um, point I was researching was the pattern that the um, uh, stock is creating during the breakout process. It's something that Christian highlights in this video, like here are the three most important patterns in stock markets. Um, I advise you to watch that one as well. So starting from those insights, I try to identify the um, uh, pattern, but also draw it and try to kind of count them and so on. So this is what I found, up flat flag, Another one was the channel, a down flat flag uh, shown as in the picture below and a symmetrical flag. Um, so yeah, overall four patterns identified. And um, what you can also see is that the 10 days moving average always above the 20 days moving average. And um, uh, yeah. Uh, pretty insightful to see those patterns. After counting them and trying to group them per pattern, this is what I end up with uh, in terms of data. 30% are up flat flag. Then we have 59% are um, channels. I was very surprised to see so many channel patterns. Down flag uh, in 9% of the cases and a symmetrical flag in 2%. So um, yeah, this is, um, this was very insightful to me. Uh, then uh, another thing that while looking at the pattern I saw is that 89% of the uh, breakouts have a, a, the upper um, flat line, which is actually the resistance line. And this is kind of where the breakout setup name comes from. It breaks out from this line. So um, it was, uh, 
kind of it gives a tip this line overall gives a tip on how to trade this setup and that's why finding the level of resistance on the daily and intraday chart is very significant while trading the setup um, all the 963 breakouts together like grouped per pattern are available um, uh, on the link in the description together with the slides that you see now during this presentation and with an additional Excel file with all the um, kind of statistical data that I was collecting for per breakout. And now we go into the kind of more like kind of difficult part of the presentation where we have the statistical analysis of the data. Uh, what we see and what happened, I took again the description that uh, Christian shared and based on it, I tried to create some measurements uh, to measure the setup itself. And here is what I kind of came up with. Uh, I was highlighting on the breakout with the horizontal orange line, the start of the momentum. Then I, I looked to measure the first leg momentum uh, then in terms of percentage, I try to see how many in percentage uh, like the stock is doing, how many then how many days is the sideways move and uh, what uh, time the stock spends in terms of consolidation. Uh, of course, I measured then the breakouts in terms of percentage and kind of this was the line between uh, the distance between the resistance line and the highest point that the um, stock was doing during the breakout move and then the last one was the breakout momentum percentage when crossing the 10 days moving average because uh, the um, christian is advising to follow the breakouts uh, below the 10 days moving average and i try to see how much uh, kind of profit i can maintain if i follow this strategy here is an example of um, um, like a slide where the print screen of the breakout is. So what you see on the left is daily charts with um, data on the breakout that didn't happen yet so that I kind of get used to learn to read the chart before the breakout actually happens. Uh, and then on the right usually is the intraday chart on the screen, but here I added the zoom out uh, print screen of the breakout with the breakout actually happening and extra context to it so that I kind of get a better understanding of the position of the breakouts. Um, all these 963 slides are available on the link in the description. Um, here's the what the data was suggesting. So the first leg momentum in terms of days, so like in, in this is like these dimensions, like in how many days the breakout is created. And the results were that within three to seven days in 72% of the cases, the, um, there is a kind of uh, the breakouts built itself in the first leg within these three to seven days. Looking at the uh, first leg momentum in terms of percentage, um, here is like the overall data and for all the breakouts um, that happened during this deep dive, what I saw is that there were, and I started to collect this data, was like there were uh, breakouts that did 12% and then went sideways and then continued with a breakout move up. So I took for myself as a kind of indicator that if I see 12% in the first leg, this is already a sign uh, that uh, there is momentum, significant momentum in the stock, and this may result later uh, in a breakout. Um, I also split the same chart to do the analysis below 10 billion and above 10 billion and as it kind of expected the bigger companies don't create a significant momentum in the first leg so um, what i saw is and what i kind of expect now is between 8 to 20 percent uh, momentum in most of the cases um, 
I also based on kind of knowing the uh, um, percentage in the first leg, but also how many days it took to build the first leg momentum. I try to calculate the average true range, uh, which you see here on the chart. So in, it's not the average daily range, but the true range. Um, in in seventy nine percent of the cases, above three per, above three percent, it was a good insights overall as expected above 10 billion and also i saw that on the charts as well the stocks has this a lower intraday uh, move but also it builds the leg in um, a higher amount of days so it takes not three to seven but maybe five to nine days to build the first leg so um, yeah more insights on this from the statistical data the sideways move, so the days in consolidation, what I saw above 10 billion is a consolidation between 7 to 12 days in most of the cases. Still, there are cases with 13 to 19 days of consolidation, so it was nice to see that too. And above 10 billion is kind of a bit of everywhere. The, it still applies that bet between 7 to 12 days is where most of the consolidation is happening and then follows the breakout. The most interesting part is, <laughs> of course, breakout the stage of trading. So um, here what I saw is that in 76% of the cases, there was a breakout of higher than 16%. And if I look at below 10 billion, there's a widespread of variety of breakouts and above 10 billion uh, what we see is that there is not such a significant momentum burst so what we see is between 8 to 22 percent uh, the last one in terms of kind of uh, charts is um, the stop loss so like assuming that i will follow the breakout below the 10 days moving average this is what uh, we could see from the data so um, here uh, here is the breakout uh, percentage and this is the, the chart in red is the stop loss percentage so in 60% of the cases the breakouts has uh, have the stop below 16% so uh, I'll let you pause and think about this data and how it can influence your trading strategy but this is what the data was showing um, an extra thing that I tried to do was to summarize the percentage of momentum in the first leg, the breakout, and the, below the stop loss to see like how what I kind of end up having if I just summarize all of them. And the data was very interesting. Like when I uh, was trying to split the breakout momentum compared to the first leg, there is surprisingly a good symmetry in the data um, and it's like 106 percent um, like the different like the the percentage wise uh, which shows a significant symmetry in the stock so whatever you could kind of expect in the first leg is what you could also expect in the breakout in addition to this um, if we follow the breakout with the stop loss before the 10 days moving average, what I kind of made a, as a conclusion for myself was a loss of 40% of the profits. Um, but it's not the, this, the following of below the 10 days moving average is not on the only rule while trading the, um, this setup. So there's more to it, but yeah, this is what those calculations um, showed. And here is how the statistical data will describe the data, uh, the setup based on the information that I could gather. So the breakout setup is creating itself within three to seven days. Um, the momentum, there should be at least 12% momentum in the first leg um, to kind of count on a, a um, breakout later in the process. Of course, higher momentum is the better higher percentage but yeah at least 12 percent already shows a good momentum then there is a consolidation period and a sideways move between 7 to 12 days followed by a breakout of 
at least 16% in 76% of the cases and kind of loss of 40% of the profits if we follow the with a stop loss bit below the uh, 10 days moving average but yeah um, the breakouts classified with the full list of data per ticker is available on the link uh, in the description um, and here are the, the last insights following this um, deep dive so overall the setup is legit there is definitely um, a correlation with the overall market and way more breakouts in the bullish environment there is that uh, element of clusters that are created within um, like the overall market but also within sectors um, in 89 percent of the cases the um, breakout setup pattern itself gives a good tip on the trading strategy um, 12 percent momentum in the first leg is um, a good sign that there is there could be a potential breakout later and in 76 percent of the breakouts um, the, uh, there is higher than 16 percent opportunity for profit have in mind all this study was done with this kind of selection bias into it it's all the data was applicable for the breakouts that actually happened if you like the presentation don't forget to give it a like and subscribe there is also that analysis on the six years of data and ma mapping of the breakouts coming later so um, subscribe to not miss that part um, also check the website master trading flow to learn more um, thank you uh, last one is some suggestion for the youtube channel so of course kuramagi's youtube channel is super resourceful on the breakout and in addition i advise you to look into the trading archive <coughs> uh, youtube channel because there are a lot of um, um, good playlists uh, on this uh, on the setup as well um, thanks a lot uh, wish you good luck trading and serve the momentum wave like a pro